Now safe in the port city of Pemba, people who survived the attack on Parma say they are lucky to be alive. Anxious relatives and friends have been waiting for them to arrive. Fighting between Mozambique's army and an armed group that calls itself Al-Shabaab has been going on for days in Parma. There are workers missing. There is no communication. There are workers. I left guards. I left the Kamban. Trucks. Machines. I don't know what I left there. I came just with these clothes. South African Adrian Nell was killed trying to escape. The father of three was traveling in a convoy which was ambushed by the armed group. His father and brother hid his body in the bush until they were able to make it to safety in Pemba. My son was killed unnecessarily so and in a very violent and unacceptable way. Um, he was just such a kind, loving, joyful person and certainly didn't deserve to die like that. He's got a wife and three young children who have now got to grow up without them. On Monday, ISIL claimed responsibility for the attack on Parma. Cabo Delgado province in northern Mozambique is where most of the major gas discoveries have been made in recent years, but it's been racked with violence. I don't think that Mozambique can defeat uh, the insurgency that we are seeing in uh, northern Mozambique because no single government has managed to do so. Nigeria could be, uh, I don't know how many times, uh, richer than Mozambique. It has still not been able to uh, uh, eliminate uh, Boko Haram. It has still not been able to eliminate the insurgency in the Niger Delta region. So I think we shouldn't dream that Mozambique alone uh, can find a solution to what is happening in Cabo de Gado. As evacuations continue, security forces say they are trying to secure Parma. The exact number of people killed, injured and unaccounted for is still unknown. Humanitarian workers warn the numbers will rise as fighting continues in parts of northern Mozambique. Harumutasa, Al Jazeera.